Thanks, man. Tom, I have you beat because talk about a wrestler being inducted. I'm a kicker, and they call me an athlete, so thanks a lot. It doesn't happen very often, so when it does, I'll take it. I was born here in Pima County. That's why this is so special to me. I was born right down the road to St. Joe's Hospital. Went to elementary and middle school here, played soccer for 10 years, my brother and I. In fact, my brother said I should give him the credit for today because I literally just followed everything that he did as an older brother. He played soccer, I played soccer. He played football, I played football. And it's true. Um, he and my sister Kathleen kind of paved the way for me through the grades, and I kind of just followed along. And during that time, I played soccer for St. Francis. I played the Pima Cup every single year. My dad was coaching. Uh, running us around. My mom, I mean, how many times did you buy shin guards and knee pads and heel cups at Dave LeCompte? Sporting goods for any you remember Jack Ellis, sporting goods, all the way back in the 80s. And uh, it continued all the way to high school. When I got into high school, I could not wait to play for the Swallow Cougars, for Coach Howard Brining. It was my brother who was playing for him, and I just could not wait to get there. So when I got there, it was a dream come true. Until the first day of practice, he yelled at me for running the wrong pattern. I wanted to quit and go home. But luckily it worked out, and we won every single game in Southern Arizona my entire time there. What I didn't realize when I was there was the other coaches and relationships. Coach Pearson, Coach Lopez, Coach Bob Biedin, Coach John Howard, um, Bob Saxon, everybody else that I worked with. I mean, they were just... Unbelievable, and when I think about this time, I think about relationships, and I think about individuals that I met and experiences, and these were all coming into the fold. And so, two of my other best friends who are here, Mike Tweet and Joe Lohmeyer, those relationships still exist. All these relationships still exist, and that's what's so special about it. So I was playing football, but on the other side of it, equally as important to me, was the choral department. My brother was involved, my sister Kathleen was involved, and Dr. David Ashcraft was running the choral department at Sora High School, and I got involved with Sora Singers and Concert Choir, and the arts part of it taught me as many life lessons as sports did as well. I've taken them both with me my entire life. They've both enriched me. So we talk about keeping sports in school. I mean, the arts as well are just as important. Enriched me through my band, but also in other ways. So super honored to have been with Dr. Ashcraft, and they're here today too, and those relationships still exist. I'm thankful for that too. So I went on from there, and Coach Tomey started to watch me play, and he came and he offered me a scholarship, so it was a no-brainer. Went to the U of A, and Coach Tomey, Coach Ellerson, and all the players there, um, I mean, it was a dream come true. I used to sell coats in that stadium when I was younger. Um, we were just talking to watch Phil play and uh, Vance Johnson, Max and Day Haas. I didn't sell a lot of sodas, but I saw a lot of games. And I dreamed of playing there one day, and I did, and I uh, was so thankful. And then I went on past that to play, uh, and eventually ended up in Buffalo, New York. And there was a trainer there named Maureen, and I really wanted to get to know her more. She didn't want to talk to me, so I faked a bunch of injuries, so she had to talk to me. And now, 13 years later, nine years later, our marriage is my wife now, and we have a little daughter, and we have twins coming in the spring. <laughs> Terrified right now. Um, she was a Hall of Famer in Buffalo, so she told me it's about time this happened because it's catch up to her. So, um, And uh, my mom, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm indebted forever. I mean, I have no way to repay everything uh, that you've done uh, for me in every single way possible and being there. You know, one quick story about my mom and my dad watching games in Arizona. My dad used to say that he would get, have permanent holes in his shoulder because every single kick, my mom was like latched on. And uh, every single time for five years, and she had, you know, he had these permanent holes. He's like, I'm gonna have to get shoulder surgery when this is all done. And unfortunately, sorry mom, some of the kicks didn't go through the uprights. Uh, some did, some didn't, but um, you know, we all live and learn and move on. So. Uh, it was a huge honor when Pat Darcy called me and John Gleason called me and, 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 and mentioned, you know, to, to be here just because of my history and my ties to this town. Pima County is in my blood and my soul forever. So thank you guys so much for, for this opportunity. I'm so honored. Such a great class, too. And um, bear down. Go Cats. Thank you.